With the increased use and research involving automated external defibrillators, we now know early defibrillation is vital to the chances of survival for a casualty of sudden cardiac arrest. The advancements in technology have also made AEDs more user-friendly and significantly less expensive, so more businesses and individuals have access to them. The fully automatic AED properly assesses for heart rhythm, allowing all rescuers, even those who are not trained in heart rhythm interpretation, to provide a potentially life-saving shock to a casualty experiencing cardiac arrest. Most AEDs will now also instruct untrained rescuers in performing CPR on a casualty when required. An AED, or Automated External Defibrillator, is a portable device that is used to analyze heart rhythm in the event of a cardiac arrest. It also functions to determine if an electrical shock can or cannot be delivered to the heart in order to restore a normal rhythm. An AED is used to detect the absence or presence of a shockable heart rhythm. If either ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia is detected, the AED will advise the user by voice prompt to deliver the shock. Push flashing button to deliver shock. When a shock is delivered, it will temporarily stop all electrical activity in the heart. This momentary break allows the electrical impulses to reset, restoring a natural heart rhythm and normal blood circulation. When the unit is turned on, a voice prompt notifies the user to place electrodes on patient's bare chest. Apply pads to patient's bare chest as shown. A diagram on the electrodes illustrates proper positioning. Once the electrodes are attached, another voice prompt advises, do not touch patient analyzing rhythm analyzing heart rhythm do not touch the patient the AED will analyze the person's heart rhythm to determine if a shock should be delivered for the AED to accurately evaluate heart rhythm the casualty should not be touched or moved movement hinders the AED's ability to accurately analyze the heart's rhythm if the AED advises a shock to be delivered the user will be prompted shock advised Charging. Shock advised. Charging. When the unit is fully charged, the user is prompted to stand clear. Stand clear. An alarm will sound until the shock button is pushed. Press flashing shock button. Shock one delivered. To avoid injury, it is extremely important that no one come into contact with the casualty as the shock is being delivered. Before you push the shock button, be sure to say out loud, I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear. When the shock button is pushed, it is normal for the passing current to produce involuntary muscle contractions. The user is prompted to continue CPR for two minutes or five cycles before reanalyzing the heart rhythm. If two rescuers are present, CPR should be performed while a defibrillator is being obtained and readied for use. Evidence has shown that even short interruptions in CPR has negative effects. When the AED arrives, apply the pads, if possible, without interrupting chest compressions. Special considerations for AED. Bare the casualty's chest. Remove top clothing, including bra, jewelry, or medicine patches. Water or sweat on the chest must be dried. Remove excessive chest hair where the AED pads are placed. Note, most AEDs come with an accessory kit, which will include a razor. Reposition electrodes 2.5 centimeters away from implanted pacemakers. Use an AED as normal for someone who is pregnant. For a child or infant, if no child or infant pads are available, use adult pads. If the pads are closer than 2.5 centimeters or one inch apart, Place one in the middle of the chest and one in the middle of the back. If the person is lying in water deep enough to splash, move the person before applying an AED. Pad, or public access defibrillation, is a movement concerned with making AEDs available in public areas and advocates legislation that allows professional responders, as well as the general public, access to AEDs without the approval of a physician.